Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really great 4th of July. So yesterday we did have a half day of trading and the markets, I don't know if this happens every year, but it did definitely last year and the year before that. The markets love to rally for the half day before 4th of July. So we did open up and we pushed above all time highs. We got to the top of the implied move. I had the top of the implied move at 551 and we closed just outside of that 551.46. So we did take it all the way up and SPY did close up 0.45%. VIX also closed up 1.57% and we did not close within the implied move. We closed just outside of it that 551 strike did close in the money. So then switching over to QQQ, same thing over here. Look at that wild move. We did open up and we pushed up to the top of the implied move. Let's backtrack just a little bit here. We did see previous all time highs and we got above them and then took it higher. 490 was the top of the implied move. We closed at 491. QQQ did close up. 0.83%. VXN also closed up 1.31%. And here also we did close outside of the implied move. 490 here was also in the money. And then switching over to SPX, we did open up and pushed above previous all time highs. To make new all time highs, we got outside of the implied move which was at 55.30, and we also got pretty close to tomorrow's implied move, at least how it was written Tuesday night. So SPX up 0.51% on the 4th of July rally, and VIX up also 1.57%, and we did close outside of the implied move. And this might be a good place to look back on last year's price action in July, at four, around 4th of July, so let's go back for a second and 4th of July last year was right here and let me zoom in just a little bit. We did also have an update. We basically gapped up on 4th of July. This was actually the 3rd. So the 3rd of July we gapped up and we had a pretty small range but we did have an up day. And then the next day you could see was down the following day after that, we gapped down, and then the rest of the month of July, we had a monster rally. So huge rally. Let me take a quick look at that from that drop to the top of the rally. So 5% in 17 days. And then you could see we had two inside days here. This is the 1st of August, and from the 1st of August, so all of July was a rally after 4th of July or after the post 4th of July dip, we rallied. Then once we hit August 1st, that is where we took it back down to the 200 day moving average. So from August 1st right here down to October lows was a 10% drawdown. So that was last year. I'm definitely not saying that's what has to happen this year. Just looking back is fun sometimes. So SPX did close up 0.51%. VIX also closed up 1.57% and we did not stay within the implied move here. And IWM had the worst day of all four of them. IWM started with a pretty optimistic gap up, popped up to the top of the implied move. So highs were around 203.29. I had the top of the implied move at 204. And then we dropped back down to the 35 EMA. That level did catch us. We are still bullish here. This 35 EMA is definitely fighting to stay above the 200 day moving average. Sorry, this is the 30 minute 200 moving average, not the 200 day. But um, so we're still bullish here. We are putting up a little bit of a fight to keep this moving with some positive momentum. And IWM did close down pretty flat 0.02%. RVX closed flat 0.00% and we did trade completely within the implied move in IWM. So that was Wednesday's half day price action and let's go check out tomorrow's levels.
All right, guys, so before we head into tomorrow's trading ranges, if you find these videos useful, if they help you to choose better strikes and take better trades, and you love that I break it down every night, then please make sure to give this video a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out every time I do post a new video. All right, so starting in SPY, tomorrow's implied move is between 548 and 555, and that is from options. The 30-day average volatility is a little bit wider, 545 to 557, and then the implied volatility for Monday's contract is between 547 and 556. And to the upside, directly above where we closed is where we have all-time highs. That is at 551.83. If we get above that, then the next level to look for is 555. We don't have anything in the upper half of the implied move. This is all uncharted territory. And then 556 is the top of the implied move for Monday. And then to the downside, the 35 EMA is outside of the implied move, which that usually signals a down day or a flat day while we wait for this level to catch up always know where your 35 EMA is. And then we also have the bottom of the implied move, which is at 548, that is a level. The bottom of the implied move on Monday's contract is 547. And then just underneath the trading range tomorrow, we do have the 30 minute 200 moving average. The momentum is still up. And last week we did have a bounce on the 30 minute 200 moving average. This is on Friday. And then we opened this week with a second bounce and then we took off. So clearly the momentum is still up, but we did veer pretty far away from the moving averages and 35 EMA being underneath the implied move. If you've been watching for a while, you know that that can definitely signal a down day. So that was SPY switching over to QQQ. We did close just underneath all-time highs here. The implied move in QQQ is between 487 to 494 to close the week. And the 30-day average volatility is between 482 and 500. And on Monday's contract, the implied move is between 485 and 496. And to the upside, all-time highs are at 487. We closed just at that level, so keep an eye on 487. If we get above that, we don't have any resistance. We could see up to 494 tomorrow, and then the implied move on Monday's contract is 496. Personally, I would be leaning more bearish tomorrow simply because the 35 EMA is underneath the implied move for tomorrow and we did veer very far away from the moving average. We typically dance around the 35 EMA. It is like a magnet so as soon as we get too far away we get pulled down to it. Too far away we get pulled back to it. So with that move right here we got pretty far away from the 35 EMA here. I would expect a return to that moving average and it is underneath the trading range for tomorrow. Projected outward towards the end of the day tomorrow we could see that level come back into the implied move but for right now it is very far out and that would likely stop us from moving too high tomorrow. So bottom of the implied move is at 487. Then the bottom of the implied move for Monday's contract is at 485. And we had a pretty much straight up move ever since we bounced off of the 30 minute 200 moving average. So there's not a whole lot of resistance right here. So next level to look for if we break underneath these two levels right here, if they don't catch us as support, which I would think they would, but I still think we will see a down day tomorrow. Um, the next level underneath us is the 30 minute 200 moving average. Clearly that did catch us on Monday. And then we had that huge up move to make new all time highs. So 30 minute 200 moving average is underneath our trading range tomorrow. And it's also underneath Monday's trading range. So that is QQQ, switching over to SPX. The implied move over here is between 5505 and 5565, that is from options. 
the 30-day average volatility, 54.75 to 5,600. And on Monday's contract, the implied move is between 5,500 to 55.75. And to the upside, the first level is going to be all-time highs at 55.39.27. That is this red dashed line right here, just underneath where we closed. We pulled back just a little bit from that level. We did make new all-time highs on Wednesday. If we get above that and we see positive momentum upward, 55.65 is the top of the implied move for tomorrow's contract. 55.75 is the implied move for Monday's contract. And I love when these two are $10 apart. I definitely think that if we get up to this level, I would definitely put spreads on up there to call top on the day. Personally, I think we're going to see a down move, and that is because the 35 EMA is underneath the implied move. That very often pulls price back down. I'm going to repeat this over and over. The 35 EMA is a magnet and price does tend to move back towards it before making another move. So if price does get pulled back tomorrow towards the 35 EMA, towards the bottom of the trading range, then keep an eye down here and see if we find support in the indicator to see if we actually move higher or if we break lower. So then bottom of the implied move is 55.05, then that 35 EMA is just underneath the implied move. And then we do have 5,500 as the bottom of the implied move on Monday's contract. And then underneath the entire trading range, we have the 30 minute 200 moving average, clear support on Monday and also on Tuesday. So if you're looking out into next week and beyond, just know the momentum on that 30 minute 200 moving average is still up and it definitely could provide some places to bounce if we do meet up with that level. So that is SPX, IWM is the implied move over here is between 199 and 204 and that is from options. And the 30 day average volatility I did take out for IWM because the implied move from options is wider and that always takes precedence over the 30 day average volatility. So 199 to 204 is tomorrow's contract and on Monday's contract 198 to 205 and to the upside the first level to look for here is going to be right here where we did see resistance on Friday. And let me switch that over so you can see it a little bit better. That is right around 202. Sorry, let's call that 203 because it's 202.91. So 203 is our first resistance level. And if we get above that, then the next level to look for is going to be 204. And that is the top of the implied move on tomorrow's contract. And that also does match up with the resistance that we saw last Thursday right here. So 204, top of the implied move, and then 205 is the top of Monday's implied move. Underneath us, we do have the 35 EMA and the 30 minute 200 moving average. You could see right here, we did see some bounces trying to get a hold of this level. It is, the momentum here is still flat and we are trying to turn this moving average. We still have flat momentum here. And if we can get another up day, maybe two, then this 30 minute 200 moving average will start pointing up and we have much more potential to start moving higher if we can move these moving averages. It has been a little bit of a struggle to hold them, but we have managed to close above both levels. So 35 EMA on the 30 minute time frame and 30 minute 200 moving average are absolutely critical levels for IWM for tomorrow. If we do break that, the bottom of the implied move is at 199. We did see a little bit of support at that level at the end of June here. And then the bottom of Monday's implied move is at 198. So there you have it guys, the trading ranges for tomorrow. I absolutely rushed through tonight's video because I was out late and the drive getting back home after 4th of July fireworks was absolutely crazy. 
bumper to bumper. But have fun tomorrow. Trade safe. Make sure you take profits when you're up. And I'll see you guys on Sunday night.